Hey y'all and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about two tools, the clay brush and the clay strips brush. Now basically everything that we've talked about with the draw brush will apply to both of these brushes because they work basically the exact same way as the draw brush, they just do it slightly differently. So with the clay brush I want you to think about adding real clay to your model. And so while the draw brush would kind of create this zigzag pattern here, if we use the clay brush, it's just going to you still add clay, but not nearly as much because the clay brush actually works as a combination of the draw brush and the flatten brush. So as you can imagine, it's adding clay, but it's also trying to flatten it out at the same time. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really use this brush a whole lot. Um, if I need to add detail into a small area, I generally will use either the draw brush, the clay strips brush, or um, if I need uh, like to increase an area size, I'll use the inflate brush. So the clay brush is not really something that I use a lot of, but you can see it also has an auto smoothing and a plane offset, which it starts at zero. Let's just show you what this looks like at 0.5, and we'll go right next to that stroke, and you can see that it's just kind of increasing the amount that we are putting onto our model. So both the clay and the clay strips brush have a plane offset, but I don't really change that setting. And then you can see it also has the ability for accumulating and changing the radius and all of those things. Now, we're going to switch to the clay strips brush. Now this brush is a brush that I use a lot, lot more. Now the clay strips brush also works like a draw brush a little bit and that you can kind of drag and draw as you go and instead of a spherical pattern like we see with the draw brush we get more of a boxy rectangular pattern that gets added on so think of this as literally taking clay in strips and just kind of pressing it onto uh, the model now this brush like i said is something that i use quite a bit it's kind of great in combination with the flat brush if you're trying to do like thick ridges or whatever and you can see that with its settings, it also has an auto smooth and a plane offset. Now the plane offset, just like with the clay brush, will increase the size that it's gonna come off the plane, but it, it, it's really not something that I change. And the auto smooth will smooth out the vertices transition away from their original position. But yeah, it's not really something that I use. So I do wanna show you the um, subtractive nature of this brush though. So just so you can see it, so when you add to this brush, you get the positive rectangle. When you subtract, you get the negative rectangle. Um, and honestly, with a lot of sculpting, I find that doing this massive subtract uh, can be really useful. So this is a brush that I use a lot of. It's something that I got comfortable with very early on, and I definitely use it a lot more than the clay brush. But that is basically it for these two brushes. They are essentially kind of more specified draw brushes and you can kind of treat them as such. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.